Alrighty, YouTube, I'm back because I have a good update on the bowling lane. As you see, the machine's not really on there except for, you know, pinwheel carpet and the curtain. But the whole lane is finally back together. It's been a long time since this lane has actually seen the light of day and been fully together. My ball return has been modified, put together for to fit the way I want it to now. And I now have a great, 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 great ball separation system that doesn't give me any issues so far. So let me get you set up. The camera set up right over here. Take a straight look at it. So what I have done is with my first ball separation mechanism, I guess you could say, that I uh, showed off in, I believe, one of my older videos when I first started redoing the entire thing. The first place I started was the pit. But with my older separation, um, which was these two rails and they went all the way through. I was having problems with the pins getting stuck right here because of the two the two parallel rails. So I finally took that out and converted it kind of to a uh, AMF style ball separation, which it had a angled piece in the pit that led to one side and the ball would come out um, the side of the uh, kickback over here. You probably couldn't see my finger there. Um, but the problem with that was it never wanted to work. My ball was always getting stuck in the carpet, just rolling there because the carpet's not really fast enough to go along with an AMF style uh, separation. So now what I've done is I kind of brought back my uh, original design but instead of having these two bars go all the way through, the first one does that butts right up against the carpet and it has the fill so no pins can get stuck here. But instead of this back rail going all the way through, it's only here at the end and I built out from the face of this wall one stud over here and that is more than enough to keep the ball from going into the pinwheel but also allowing the pins to go through without getting stuck because the rail is no longer there. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the carpet, throw a couple balls down so you can see exactly how it works. So much better than any other design I've made so far for ball separation. This takes me back years when I first tried to figure out that long, long time ago with like my second generation lane. But now I have one of my two major problems, my actually only problems I have with the lane. Once I get the other one fixed, this machine will run without issue. And I cannot wait to see that. So thanks. Uh, leave a like. And if you already haven't, please subscribe and I will bring you more updates as I do them to the lane. Thanks.